Hello everyone and welcome to Programming Career. In the previous video, I explained what HLS is, how HLS or HTTP live streaming work, and how to generate HLS playlist file, how to encrypt, decrypt, etc. Now in this quick tutorial, I will show you how to add subtitle to a HLS or HTTP live streaming video. Now first thing first, HLS uses VTT or Web VTT for subtitle incorporation. The process is pretty similar to video segmentation and playlist file generation. So generate a playlist file for HLS from a video for example from an app for video I'm generating a index playlist file for HLS so in that I ge usually generate small chunk of video named .ts and a master or index playlist file named .mcwit in subtitle the process is pretty similar you have a .vtt or .webvtt subtitle for the whole video and you have to segment it for small chunks like 10 second or 20 second of the video and a playlist or index file for all the segments of the subtitle small vtt files and the master playlist file will be referencing all the small subtitle files like the video playlist file to when we said generate a ts file so with that i will show you how to incorporate subtitle to a hls video in two steps the first step is creating hls video playlist and subtitle playlist with ffmpeg and the second step is creating a hls master playlist file and writing hls instruction to reference the subtitle playlist file to the video playlist file together so i'm now going to the first step here in my server i have a sample input video file named american underscore slang dot mp4 which is containing a subtitle file so let's open the file and check it out as you can see the video is having a subtitle file and the subtitle track is this one so now I will use this video as an input for my processing so that the subtitle can be shown in HLS player. So here the command I will be using is this one already shown in the display. This is the command I will be using to generate the segments only which is not the complete solution. If you generate a segment then there will be no link up between these two the playlist file of the video and the playlist file of the segment. You have to do that manually since FFmpeg doesn't have the full support yet. So this is the ffmpeg command here input file is american underscore slang dot mp4 and flag is hls hls time is 10 second which means all the small segment will be around 10 second long hls list size is zero that means this one is a video on demand and already recorded video segment list name is index hls segment file name will be american underscore slang percentage d means the sequence of the segment one two three or something like that and final playlist file will be american underscore slang dot m3 unit file which will be referencing all the segments and here i'm mapping the subtitle of the input video file as american underscore slang underscore main underscore sub dot vtt as hls uses vtt or web vtt for subtitle incorporation so from this mapping my command will generate a vtt file of the full video named this one and then the this will generate the small segments here HLS times 10 that means all the subtitle will be for 10 minutes long video and the segment list is EN so after running the command on the video directory let's see what happens I'm copying the command and here I'll open my terminal so if I write here CMD and press enter the command prompt will open and now I have pasted the command and pressing enter. So there is no error here. The video have been started to process. So let's wait and this process complete. Here a new file is being generated since the process is not yet complete. So as you can see, the previous file is already there but some new VTT file and some new .ts file have been generated and two m3 bit file is being generated one is american underscore slang underscore vtt and another one is american underscore slang this one is for video segmentation and this this one is for sub subtitle segmentation okay we have to wait some more time the video processing through ffmpeg is complete now so if we go to the server directory i can see that a lot of vtt file have been generated from the single video and a lot of ts file also generated and two m3 bit file is generated let's open the files first one is uh, american underscore slang dot m3 bit second one so in this file as you can see it's referencing the 
how many can underscore slang zero one two three that means the full video is segmented into small chunks and this file is referencing to that the other file is american underscore uh, slang underscore bdt which means the playlist file of the subtitle this one is also referencing small bdt file that means the small subtitle files the american slang zero dot bdt one dot bdt so now if i access this file from a hls playlist i will see the video but I will not see the subtitle. So to link these two files, I have to do an important task. This is the most challenging part in subtitle incorporation. So be careful about this. So here my idea is when you use a programming language, when uh, generating your HLS playlist or developing your HLS server, you can manually, you can write code to create a file named master.mc8 and write into that file some HLS instruction linking this to file okay you can use shell programming or normal file IO system anything you want here I will create a new master playlist file I am not writing code here to make this video short the video file will be the playlist file will be master.m3u8 inside that playlist file I will paste some code which I have already generated Puts on this in this text file i'm copying all the text here so here in the master.m3 file i'm pasting all the instructions hls tags so here this is the master hls file here xtx media type is subtitle and default is yes this will be a default subtitle force no this is not hardcoded subtitle auto select is yes language is en and uri is american underscore slang dot bt dot m3 8 this one is this file this is in the same directory so i'm using relative path and after that xtx stream inf tag is referencing the main hls playlist file with codec information and resolution the second one is american underscore slang dot m3 8 which is this one so our uh, HLS processing for subtitle addition, addition is subtitle incorporation is complete here. So I will start my Apache server to test this. Starting my Apache server and going to a browser, I will share both master playlist file and ffmpeg command in the video description. So let's go to localhost slash HLS slash master.m3u8 file okay so we go there i can see that the subtitle is selected on the video inside this bar if i want to i can switch the subtitles i guess okay i'm going to uh, i'm going to google chrome and here as you can see the subtitle is shown if i want to disable the subtitle i can do that caption english now the subtitle is gone and if i select the subtitle again the subtitle is back so hls is not supported by default in chrome i am using an extension named native hls playback which is this one and That's all. I've already shared the link of command and HLS master test file incorporating the subtitle in the description of this video. So if you, if you have any question about uh, HLS or anything about video streaming, please put down a comment below. And please like the video and share if you have helped with this. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more similar helpful video. Thanks for watching.